are back. We've been invited to a drift event set up by Falah al Jarba. Yeah, and FJR. All right, you can tell yeah. it by the red rhino. Look for the red rhino at the event. Uh, and it's drifting. It's drifting at last. Hilton, got some no more drag yeah. racing. No, What's there going will be drag racing. There will be drag racing. Next Look week. out for King of the Strip yeah. 3 if it's not already out. Man, I, I don't even sit at these seats for too long now. Let's, uh, let's yeah. go check out the We're pits. Gonna, yeah. yeah, we check out the cars and, uh, you know, enjoy the event. We got the, obviously we're starting with the Ford Racing Team, Abdelladi Al Qahtani and the rest of the crew and they have brought themselves three Mustangs, a Boss 302, we got two RTRs, RTRs are the uh, Mustangs uh, which I think Van Getten helped uh, build or design so on. And then we have a Ford Focus, now it's a special Ford Focus, it has a 5 liter. God damn! I'm gonna sue, I want 10 million dollars! <laughs> Alright, check this out, this is Abdullah Zaid, I'm a huge fan of this guy man, LX Club. One of the best drivers I know right now, man. When this guy first started, let's just say that he could just kind of drive. Now, God damn, he can drive. <laughs> man, good luck, bro. Hell yeah, man. I can't wait to see the runs, man. We got an in car cam in this car. The engine for this one is actually mounted somewhere here. The car is a rear wheel drive. This is more of a circuit autocross car. I don't know how it's going to do in the drift, but you know, we'll see what happens. But these things are monsters, man. All right. Now, I don't know about this one. This one, uh, you know, the guys were telling me that they swapped out the cam and it's now given more power uh, at the higher end. Uh, now, I don't know if that's going to end up sacrificing low end torque for them. I don't know if it's going to drift as well as it used to, but man, I just can't wait for these guys to drive. Oh, Chemical Brothers. Right. <laughs> so we have a 180SX, obviously, a Nissan, and it's had an LS1 swap. Now, if you guys don't know the LS1, that's the Chevy engine. Aluminium engine, 5.7 liter, it's very compact. You can probably see through the vent that the engine is actually here. Alright? So it helps you mount it around to the back. It's actually a smart move because most guys like to swap the two JZ engines, which is a straight six, it's a lot longer, and it's not gonna give you the best sort of um, position in terms of weight. Now unlike the Hyundai Genesis which runs the, uh, I think they have a G6 engine or something uh, made by Lambada, anyway, this one's had it swapped out for what I think is a 2JZ, uh, we're not too sure, let me see if I can the driver. Alright, so I just go where the driver is called Faisal, look out for him, this guy can really drive, seriously, and like they said, they confirmed to me, it's a 2JZ engine swap, uh, that's a super turbo swap. Ah, oh, now here's one right here, right? Now this is an E30 BMW 3 Series or M3 even. All right, and this one's had also a 2JZ swap. I think, you know, from what I saw, I just got a glimpse of the engine. Sounds like super. And you can see there's a nitrous ball in the back. I don't know if we can use that. Damn, man, these guys are serious. Hell yeah, man. Anyway, I'm looking out for this car, and I think he's running NT. Oh, hell yeah. He's run NT triple fives, man, which is uh, Nitto tires, and not to be confused by the NT triple five R, which is a drag slick, uh, you know, semi slick. Uh, but yeah, man, like I say, I have a feeling there's a two JZ in this one as well. Look out for this one, great car, man. <laughs>
So I am with Mohammed Al Shafi. He's going to do obviously the interview in Arabic. You have to forgive me. I still don't know very much Arabic. And uh, this guy's specialty is custom cars. What's up? Okay. سيارات كلاسيكية وحبي لها هو اللي خلاني أوصل للمرحلة هذه. مساعدة بعض الشباب اللي أعرفهم في المنطقة عندي المنطقة الشرقية. بدينا أول سيارة اخترناها ال442. موديل 72 اشتغلناها من اي تو زد كل شيء فيها ستوك يعني ما فيها حاجه زياده على شد بلد كل شيء الاصلي ولله الحمد مع طبعا مالكها تركي صديقي ومن افراد العائله هو مالك السياره وانا اللي اشتغل عليها اكثر شيء شغل والحمد لله السياره ماشيه زي العسل نسافر نروح فيها نجي من النوادر اللي شفتها في المنطقه يعني. لا لا شغل لنا احنا يعني نشتغل في البيت يعني برا حق الشباب ما شاء الله الله Yeah, that's the fish of uh, any of the guys. I mean, they do classic cars. Uh, yeah, they can get in touch with you. I'm not a private collection. Yeah, I feel the bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. There's cars in the bear. Even if someone has a car and wants any service, we can give them. We don't have any problems. All right. So if you guys have classic cars, or you'd like a classic car, or want to maintain your classic car, this is the man to speak to, Ahmed Al Shafi. Thank you. 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 Challenger because these guys uh, specialize in the Hyundai Genesis. Um, but yeah, we'll check them out, we'll see what happens. Guys. Ahmed Asad is always man, the LX team, you know? <laughs> Look out for this guy and Abdullah Zin. <laughs> now it's nice to see Coyote Mustangs in here. You can pretty much slide these things out stock, you know? And you know, if you guys are riding cars like these with this much torque and power, clutch kick, you don't even need the handbrake. Oh! They brought gangster rap. <laughs> and here is the ultimate tuner versus muscle right here. The 5.7 Hemi and then the 3.8 V6 of the
Now the thing about the Toyota GTA 6 or the Subaru BRZ or Scion FRS, wherever, same car, okay, is they went to great lengths with center of gravity, okay? This car is all about center of gravity. Now, first of all, we got the D4S uh, boxer engine, okay? Now, this thing is obviously with the boxer engine, we mentioned before the pistons go side to side. That allows it to be flatter, to be mounted lower as well, okay? Uh, now, compared to the EJ20 engine, which was in the Subaru Impreza, the, uh, this engine is actually a lot lower and it's a lot further back, okay? So the engine is actually mounted somewhere in this area. Now, by it being so much further back, it obviously allows the uh, you know the air intake to be mounted up front, so it just comes in directly up front. That actually adds to the performance. Uh, another cool thing that some people might not know is that obviously this is electric power steering, and uh, now the power steering motor usually it's fitted near the uh, steering rack, uh, you know, in between the uh, the wheels at the bottom. Uh, but what they've done is they've actually fed the uh, electric motor for the steering. Uh, near the steering wheel so it's actually inside the cockpit and what that's done is it's allowed them to mount the engine even lower okay so again it's all about center of gravity so you mount the engine lower it means that you can end up uh, bringing a lower bonnet okay a lower a lower hood obviously means that now the driver can see better so then you can bring the roof down you can bring the seating down you know so they were really smart about it they brought everything down they made it as low as possible obviously uh, I think uh, Subaru like to keep a 13 centimeter gap uh, you know for their stock cars uh, so they've managed to do that they managed to lower it as much as possible still keep it spacious uh, just doing these smart little things um, even if uh, they've gone into the detail of the interior uh, another reason why I absolutely love these cars they've gone into detail with the interior where even the air conditioning the buttons the console everything is a lot smaller just so they can bring everything down everything lower uh, so this thing is just incredible in terms of center of gravity I absolutely adore these cars uh, this guy Check out his car when it comes out soon. He's got his one JZ Super, the old school model. Oh, shoot for the Tassan or Last time I met this guy, it was 300 horsepower. Now he's pumped up to 530 horsepower. Uh, uh, okay, there you go. So don't get confused. Two white supers running under bucket. One of them is a drag car, one of them is a drift car. <laughs> okay, so I am with Abdul Hadi Al Kahtani. Finally, I get to meet a guy who I'm a huge fan of when it comes to drifting. And uh, he drifts RTR Mustangs. Uh, Tell us, man, uh, you know, how did you start? Uh, yeah. What were you guys all about? I actually started back uh, back in 2005. Okay, yeah, nice. Uh, with a normal car, uh, the drifting in Bahrain International Circus. Hell yeah. Uh, I started before an autocross uh, championship. Nice. That's how I started motorsport, but started drifting in Bahrain. Then uh, I had a name and a goal uh, to be professional drifters. Hell yeah. And here we are. Damn, and yeah. here they are, seriously, yeah. they've brought three monster Mustangs. Uh, one of them is a Boss 302 and yeah. two RTRs? Yeah, we have the RTRD, yeah. which is okay. basically the same car uh, of uh, Van Gittin Jr. Nice. Just small difference. And we have the RTR, which is twice a street car, then we modify the car to be a, the one behind the here, yeah? yeah this Unreal. is the 5.0 okay and we have the boss 302 hell yeah which was a, a gt car or a, a circuit racing car and we just Whoa. transform it to a drift car damn yeah. all right okay now my favorite to be honest i love the mustangs yeah. but this focus man yeah like but this, this is more of a circuit car you know yeah, it's, it's, a, a, it's a it's a new project it's still under construction we're hell still yeah. doing the setup and uh, checking uh, all, all the parts uh, it's a Focus, uh, 2013 Focus. Okay. With a V8. All right. 5.0. V302 uh, yeah. from the Fox body or yeah, the... from the Fox body. Nice. Yeah. Well, nice. Actually, yeah, Push well, rod. <laughs> it's it's it's, uh, it's uh, lighter than the new 5.0, so we we wanted a, a light car. Yep. With a with a rear wheel drive. So it's a new new machine. It's uh, yeah. under testing. Yeah. We didn't compete yet uh, with the car. I think 
within uh, the end of the season, the car will be perfect. Nice, man. Because I, I was impressed with the grip. Even when you guys were drifting yeah, it, yeah. man, this thing was gripping. You yeah. made the drift look like an autocross, man. <laughs> it was unreal. Like, I can't wait. And what were you guys hoping to enter this in? What kind of, um, uh, what kind of competitions? It's uh, car park drifts, which okay. is small, small drifts. Uh, nice, nice. Autocross championships. Hell yeah. Yeah, so different different uh, type of events. Mm. Nice, nice. Okay, well, like I say, man, Abdul Hadi Al Kahtani, please look out for this guy. I'm not just sucking up because I'm a fan. This guy can really drive, okay? And you proved it today by winning. So, <laughs> thank you, big thank time, you. man. Wallah. All right, thank bro. You. <laughs> look out. So I have an E30 BMW M3. Uh, now this was the original M3, believe it or not. This is the thing that started it all off. And uh, originally it used to have the four-cylinder uh, engine, which didn't really produce that much horsepower. Uh, but what this guy has done is he has swapped out for a 2JZ turbo engine, uh, you know, which is the Toyota Super engine, and it has a single turbo, a large single turbo, and this thing pumps out a lot of power. Uh, now, for you guys who uh, want to know a little more details about the straight six, is the 2JZ sometimes gets confused for the um, the RB26, which is the one in the skyline, or the RB25. As a quick way of guessing which one is, the RB26 has the exhaust on this side and the intake on this side, whilst the uh, the Super 2J has the intake on this side and the turbo on that side, you know? So if you see turbos on this side, chances are it's an RB. Now, the thing that this guy's done, he's done a very smart move, which is he's put some weight at the back because this is a 400-pound engine, and add the turbos on and everything, it's going to be a heavy-ass engine. So uh, he's put a nitrous tank at the back that he isn't using, but because he's put the extra weight on, it keeps the car slightly balanced. It doesn't make it front heavy. So. Great car, man. You know, and uh, hopefully we'll see more of it in the uh, the rest of the drifting events. So, okay, so <laughs> um, this is Grant with his war machine. It's an absolute go kart. It's like a homemade aerial atom. And uh, as you can see, the car is is done. It's done right now. It's working. We still need to get the EFI on this thing, but oh my God, what a toy! <laughs> Yes! This guy can drive, man. Yeah. He can really drive. Look, even the camera's going out of focus, man. Yeah, Dango. Are you filming? Yeah. I have an F-250 Super Dewey. This thing is about the same size as the moon. It's huge. It weighs about 10 billion tons, okay? And it's powered by baby blood and uh, endangered species. They just throw endangered animals into the engine and it burns them, baby seals, uh, tigers, anything. And uh, naturally, it has its own gravity. If you throw something at it, it'll probably just rotate around the truck. Uh, so this is what the, <laughs> the Baladia has. Uh, is it the Baladia that's uh, sponsoring the event? Thank you, Baladia, for sponsoring the event. Uh, this is their truck that they brought down and uh, various other vehicles. So, uh, you may go. Big ass truck. Feel my way through the darkness. Guided by a beating heart. I can't tell where the journey will end, but I know where to start. And tell me I'm too young to understand. And say I'm caught up in a dream. Well, life will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes. But well, that's fine by me. So wake me up when it's all over. When I'm wiser, when I'm older. All this time I was finding myself And I didn't know I was lost So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older Oh, 
all this time I was finding myself alive.